Hi fans of high quality entertainment. This is my, I think, third take on this video. I'm struggling. Sometimes I make a mistake. It's just, I, I get so excited for my some of my viewers out there who I know will check out these albums and become huge fans like I am. Anyway, Van Morrison, Astral Weeks. I've heard this, uh, you know, through the years, especially the first a uh, couple songs, Astral, sorry, Astral Weeks and Beside You. And especially Astral Weeks, I liked almost right away. But the rest of the album was kind of, for me, it was kind of a snooze fest and I just didn't have the patience to really listen to it and so I would give up on it. And then I decided, uh, you know, Re always reading great reviews of it and how it takes time to really enjoy this album. I thought, I'm going to buy this and really listen to it and try my best to enjoy it. And now, this, I think, for me, is one of the greatest albums I've ever heard. It sunk into me. I would say it took me, it didn't take really too long, like s some albums like Tales from Topographic Oceans by Yes takes numerous listens. This one took me, I'd say, at least three listens to start to really enjoy it. And now, uh, I just love it. It's, like I said, one of my favorites. And I came across this review on Astral Weeks, and I was thinking, this is, <laughs> this is how I would love to you know, talk and review albums, but I, I'm not a great reviewer. So I am going to read you this review. It is by Tango After Dark, which was posted on RateYourMusic.com. And it says everything that I would say if I could say it. So here we go. And then I'll get into the Yes album. Originally, I thought I would never get into this album. Although I saw the great music and lyrics, it didn't quite work for me. But after about five serious listens over the course of a few weeks, it just hit me like a train, but in a pleasant way. Ever since, it's become at least an occasional listen for me when I have the time for it. As so many people say, it's hard to describe Astral Weeks as anything but beautiful music and magic. Perhaps the best way to explain my experience is when I listen to this album, I feel very blissful and fall into love with the music. The songs flow well together, and although the lyrics are fantastic, it's unnecessary to know all the lyrics to know how great the song is. Just a few key lyrics and the music, oh the lovely music, is all you need to really understand this album, or at least feel in your heart that you are connected to it. There is no other album with such a strong synergy of, between the lyrics instrumental and vocals. Astral Weeks truly transcends the five-star rating. It's beyond music and compare the greatest. And, uh, but re really, you know, listening to this whole, whole album, there, there would be times I would be, be overcome with emotions, with the music. Van Morrison's vocals, uh, I think, especially on first listen, you you might not like his vocals, but just give it a chance because, uh, I don't know, it's just a very special album. So I hope some of you out there check out Astral Weeds and become a huge fan like I have. And I will be definitely checking out more Van Morrison albums in the near future, his, his next one after this uh, Moon Dance. I think it was Moon Dance, yeah, is the next one I will be purchasing. Now on to this album, Yes, Magnification. I've always loved Yes uh, since the, the 70s, but I was never a huge fan until like two years ago when I finally really got into Tales from Topographic Oceans and Relayer. I absolutely love those albums. So I love all of the early albums with John Anderson up to uh, 
tornado and going for the one. But this one, uh, I bought this like a year and a half ago and I just never took the time to really listen to it because I figured, you know, it might be good or whatever, but it's not going to be as good as the earlier Yes albums. But I was wrong, oh so wrong. Uh, <laughs> I feel right now, I've listened to this I think three or four times in the past week, this is as good, if, if, if it's not at, if it's not better, sorry, I'm excited. If it's not better, it's at least as good as Relayer, Tales from Topographic Oceans, Fragile, and yes, Close to the Edge. In fact, if I had a choice to listen to Close to the Edge or Magnification, I, I would choose Magnification. Uh, really, really strong melodies throughout. throughout. There's no keyboards on this. Uh, this is the only album with four members. John Anderson, Chris Squire, Steve Howe, and Alan White on drums. And an orchestra. And just like on Time, Time and a Word, uh, there's an orchestra. But this time I think, as much as I love Time and a Word, I think on this one the orchestra works better. It seems to... Uh, flow better with the band. It doesn't seem to seem as paste, pasted on sometimes as it did on uh, Time in a Word. But like I said, uh, Steve Howe's guitar work, for you fans of Steve, Steve Howe, he does some amazing guitar solos on this. John Anderson, one of my all-time favorite singers, if you love John Anderson, you will love this album. Uh, I would say, just give it a chance. Give it a, two or three listens at least, and you will, I believe, connect with the songs. Really strong melodies. Uh, some of these songs, they just uh, give love each day is one of my favorites. But like I said, the whole, whole album is. And also, uh, as I skip around, Chris Squire sings lead vocals on Can You Imagine? And he is such a, a beautiful voice and that is a really good song too. So I am totally impressed with Magnification. And I've also heard their previous album to this, The Ladder, is, is good. Maybe somebody in the comment section can let me know about that one. I'll purchase that someday and actually listen to it. So this was the final album with John Anderson in Yes. And so I consider this Yes's final album. That's just me. So that's my review for these two superb albums. I hope you check, check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.